house. What's up, YouTube? SK Ism here, and I've been gone for a while, but I have a pretty good explanation for all that. Um, and that's gonna be after we talk about what's going on right now with Bus Online. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the team at Neo is finally decided to put out a producer's letter about the optimization and player hacking. And this comes after, you know, some time of people saying, hey, Neo is, this is happening in your game. Hey, Neo is, your game is poorly optimized. Hey, Neo is, hey, Neo is, hey, Neo is. And nothing's been done up until now where they're actually saying they're going to do something about it. At least that is the hope because I haven't actually been checking on the forums or anything or Reddit or anything because I've been trying to avoid a lot of the toxicity when it comes to the forms of this game trying to reclaim my own sanity so it says greeting dear blessed players we hope you have been enjoying the fourth of july update with the new end game content basil gorge and the royal quests we're listening closely to your feedback on it and as you explore different aspects of the new area and new quests we hope you like the market improvements as well so here they're kind of jumping back and forth patting themselves on the back for you know doing things that they're kind of expected to do but you know we're just going to go ahead and keep on going it goes on to say, We know the optimization is a big question on the community's collective mind right now, and know that many of the users are manually editing the INI file in an effort to improve performance themselves. While we know that improving performance isn't that simple, we also recognize that altering the INI file represents a greater issue and we're, look, we're working to improve it. Our devs are in fact currently in the process of refining the settings so that players who don't alter the INI files can further customize the game to match their own needs throughout through the game's own settings and menus. In addition to this first step towards improved optimization, we are currently focused on looking for solutions and fixing the performance issues that are at the core of the community-made INI file modifications. We have identified specific core function problems in the UI manager and in level streaming and we are working to delete unneeded files that were included in the game build removing redundant output in region level boundaries, etc. Aside from the improvements in the client, we are also continuously working on network related problems and service stability as mentioned in our previous announcements. We will give updates on improvements as they continue to progress and in order to find any potential root causes that we are currently unaware of, we plan to conduct stress tests in separate test environments, live service X sometime in July. This is the stuff you should have been working on a few weeks ago. Like, this is the stuff that should have been first dealt with instead of, you know, worrying about putting out more endgame content that people can, that people can't play because you know their FPS is dropping like crazy or whatever. Like personally, to me and probably to a lot of the community members that have left already, like my entire guild, and a few other entire guilds that left probably on day one and day two. The optimization was a key thing that needed to be dealt with in the beginning. So in the next section they go over hacking and I did a video covering the hacking situation in my last video. So go ahead and check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. And it says, in recent days we've received many reports and have made ma made aware of certain hacks that players are using to gain unfair advantage over others in the game. This is absolutely against our terms of service and we already have been taking immediate actions against the hackers. In addition to working on our own to track down and take action against hacking, exploiting, botting, issues, and more, we greatly appreciate your reports to us of these issues. Sharing videos with us that contain character names and server info is extremely helpful and allows us to take the quickest and most accurate measures to address the problem. Using such tools and modifying the client are clear methods of cheating. This is not a gray or unclear area. As such, we are issuing permanent bans to those who are or have been abusing these hacks. It is important to us that players who aren't using these hacks are able to enjoy the bus experience fully, and we believe these actions are towards that goal. So my only problem with this is that, um, it's that they've known about the issues with the, the hacks that can be done in the game. They know about the editing already. It was revealed by a certain emissary that they already knew about this like beforehand while the game was, you know, while they were still planning on launching the game and they did nothing to fix all this. That's my current problem with it because that cost them a lot of players in the, like in the recent days, they've lost a lot more players than they already lost in the first place. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that they're doing something now. Like I'm glad they're finally doing something about it. Better late than never. And a lot of people are like, oh yeah, this is too late. Too many people have already quit. The thing about the people that quit, a lot of them were impatient and they know they were impatient, but seeing how it progressed up until now 
a lot of people are still waiting for the game to try to bounce back. They may have lost hope in the beginning. They may have, like, say, you know, I'm not going to play this game right now. Or I'm glad I got my money back while this all went down. But if the game does better, if the game does, like, start to succeed and starts picking up player base a little bit, I feel like a lot of people will come back. This is my personal feelings, though. I'm not saying it's going to get back to the point where they have, you know, 35,000 players online all at once, but it might jump back up to, like, the higher numbers, like 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 at some point once they decide to get all their shit in a row, once they get all their ducks in the same damn pond, so to say. I mean, I have no real problem with the game. I run 60 FPS, like, most of the time. I think the only time I drop is when I'm in town and I don't really mind it. Like, I played MMOs on a laptop my entire life up until, like, this just now when I started playing Bless. And I've lived through the lag, so I know what it's like to be in, like, the laggiest situations. This is nothing to me. Like, as you can see, my my gameplay doesn't really lag or anything to me. I don't know if you guys are seeing something different to me than me, but... Like, this is all good to me when it comes down to me looking at my 60 FPS. And I know people are saying, oh, well, it can get to be 100, F 100 FPS and blah, blah, if you do I and I fix. I don't need all that. Like, I'm good at 60 FPS. I'm not dropping out or anything when it comes to being in the battlegrounds or being in um, 3v3. So, I'm good. So, I guess to my loyal 105 subscribers, I owe kind of an explanation on where I've been with no videos or whatever. Um, actually, 106. Awesome. Let's talk about it. So I know I said it was a good excuse, but most of you guys probably don't really care. But um, yeah, I've been actually just playing the game and running dungeons and, you know, learning dungeons and getting geared up because my RNG has been pretty ridiculous lately. So <laughs> um, that's part of where I've been. I've also been working more, which didn't let me actually get to play as much as I want to and put out videos as much as I wanted to, which kind of led to like a backlog in all the content I had in my head. And you would think since I was running dungeons, I'd actually, you know, make how to uh, run these dungeon videos. But I haven't even been doing that because I've been focused on getting these dungeons done with this new guild I'm in. Yes, I ended up having to leave Oasis because a lot of the players were like, well, the remaining players that were left decided they were going to go join another guild. And I was like, well, I guess that's it for Oasis now. So, oh, boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. But yeah, I've been actually looking at a lot of the games I own and a lot of games I have for my PlayStation. I think I'm going to go ahead and step back into Warframe because I saw their um, TennoCon and it was pretty it was pretty interesting. Like, I, I like some of the stuff they put out. So, I think I'm going to be going ahead and um, doing some Warframe content as well. If you guys want to stick around for that, I mean, I mean, for those of you that don't know, Warframe is a free-to-play game by Digital Extremes. And the story on how they actually got Warframe started is pretty freaking crazy. And now it's probably one of the best um, shooters that is free to play. Well, you know, next to Fortnite and Player Unknown. But I mean, this is a five-year-old game that was predicted to have no future at all. So it's kind of just like, yeah, this 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 game is pretty awesome. Their numbers are still up there. Like I said, it's a five-year-old game, but their numbers are really still up there. It's like sixty. They're they're averaging like sixty thousand right now on Steam alone, and they still have their like their players from the actual just download them straight from the page which is not being counted in the Steam downloads and the Steam um, online players. And then they have their PlayStation players and their Xbox players. And coming soon, they're going to have their Nintendo Switch players. So I personally might be playing on my PlayStation because that's where all my actual um, info is at. I think I'm like Master Rank 22 or 21. I don't remember exactly. I know my PC Master Rank isn't that high because when it came out on PC, I wasn't really feeling the game. And that was kind of that was kind of because of my you know my inability to recognize a good game, even though it was back in closed beta testing way back then. But yeah, even though I'm going to be playing Warframe, I'm not going to stop making content for Bless. I'm not going to stop playing Bless. I'm still going to bring out content for Bless and of course Warframe now. But um, it's just to you know add in the content there where I don't have content where one is pro where one is not providing content efficiently enough. So I can put out constant content as I want to. And of course, you know, I'm always down to take suggestions for games you guys think I should play. Um, I'm down to play anything, to be honest. I will try anything at least twice. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, pass it around, you know. And as always, peace.